I don't hate Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church the way most people do. One of the biggest reasons for this is because I actually have identification with them. I'm not a homophobic person, so that's not my identification. I'm not a fundamentalist, that's not my identification. I'm not a Christian, that's not my identification. Like them, I have a lot of venom in me, and I have manifested it in the ways they have. Right now, I'm doing very intensive soul searching. I want to improve myself and achieve my goals. Right now, I'm focusing, zooming in on Westboro Baptist Church because it represents a layer of my soul I am seeking to remove, the moral crusader level of my soul. This level of the soul is ineffective and it prevents me from getting what I want. I see myself in Fred Phelps in Westboro Baptist Church, thus I can't hate them. And I would like to read you a position paper from the autonomy party, the political party I have. And this represents my view since I am a member of the autonomy party, a founder in fact, and thus the changes I make in my personal life reflect the party. As you can see, I have some of the same themes as Fred Phelps does, and this was before I even cared two wits about Fred Phelps. I talk about how you're either 100% against abortion and alcohol or 100% for it, and those who are not doing anything about it are the opposite. Take a close look at what I write and see the comparisons, and this is why I need to change. I want to be an iconoclast a revered iconoclast and a moral crusader is not a revered iconoclast. For the sleep out, for the prohibition of alcohol, inspired by the sleep out, for the homeless back 2001. We are here to send a message that corporations should no longer be profiting from the destruction of humanity. We are sending a message that the youth shall be saved. That the human race deserves better than alcohol culture. We will not stand for this debauchery. We will not stand for them taken away from our true intellectual culture. We will not stand for these taverns producing apathy and lethargy. We want better. We demand better. It is about time someone stands up, gets on the front lines, and says this will not stand to corporations. It's about time someone says thoughts of printed material from the internet we got old anti-saloon league pamphlets. We got prohibition tracks. Very cool printed matter we have here. Too bad that there's not a stronger prohibition presence in this nation. This is a vanguard of neo-prohibition. The autonomy party is where it's at. Very few parties besides the autonomy party and the prohibition party are taking a stand against alcohol decadence. Because we want purity and innocence to reign supreme we are here. Because we care about the future generations. Because we believe that the soul of humanity deserves to flourish. It is very immoral for these businesses to be profiting off the destruction of human health. It is time for someone to say it is wrong. It is time to call a spade a spade. We have no time to mince words. We have no time 
to go downwards in the downward spiral of decadence and depravity. These businesses could be health food stores. They could switch over to vegan restaurants. Every single bar could be a different vegan cuisine. We could have diverse cuisine in this city of ours. But we don't because the bars are everywhere. People all of a sudden, there's nothing else to do. You have to look inside yourself. Be resourceful. Use your individual initiative. This world is full of plenty of options, full of plenty of satisfaction, full of plenty stimulation. Yet people still say they are bored. This is very sad. The question is not what to do, because there's so much to do. We should not have to think what to do, because there just is so much to do. Why prohibition? Because alcohol detracts from our society. It takes away our prosperous, soulful nature. Sleep out for the prohibition of alcohol. Very innovative event. Where else in the nation would there be a sleep out for the prohibition of alcohol? It'd be cool if the conservatives would realize that why don't they complain about what really destroys American society? Conservatives talk big about family values, but what destroys families more than alcohol? If you're rich or poor, black or white, this evil drug can harm you. There's a great website that tells us that one in four kids have to grow up in an environment of alcohol. Alcohol is not a victimless crime. Everyone that has to deal with an alcoholic suffers immensely. There's no salvation when alcohol reigns where it lurks. Where it lurks. Any words from the support crew? Shenanigans. Shenanigans. That's a good word. Because that's what happens when people are drunk. A simple observation will give you the conclusion that people act stupid when they're drunk. People need to realize that they can have real fun without their drug of alcohol. They need to put that two of the craziest people in this town can be wilder than any drunk person. They're alive, they're aware, they're to experience the time. They're not deluded, they're not out of it. People often try to tell us, prohibition didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because there wasn't enough agents to enforce it. That doesn't mean the law is necessarily bad. There also was widespread. If we are widespread corruption invalidates a law, it just means that people need to get their act together. Corruption with and getting off free, does that mean we try to repeal our murder laws? Don't try to do appeal on murder laws. In this area, we realize that corruption doesn't spoil the underlying intention. It is just that corruption. It's a perversion of the original intention. The original intention is flawed.